Okay, we have another question before us, question 3. If a fair coin is tossed twice, what is the probability of obtaining at least one head? And we have some option, option A, 0.25, option B, 0.75, option C, 0.5, and option D, 0.33. So let's get down to business. Solution, quickly. Solution. Now, when uh, a fair die is tossed, okay, let's say this is our die. This is our die. And it's tossed. They say it was tossed twice according to the equation. So let's do the first toast. When we toss a dice, we we'll always get two outcomes either a head or a tail. So, first toss is going to give us either a head or a tail. So we do we, tr we toss again. If we toss uh, the second time, this head will give us a head and a tail. This tail as well is going to give us two outcome: a head and a tail. So we have that. So this is this first one is first toast. So let's say first toast. This is second toast okay so this is first toast second toast now if we are to pick it so let's follow the lines from this first line we have head head that is one outcome one result now we follow this other line a head and a tail we come to this line we follow this line we have a tail and a head we follow this line we have uh, a tail and a tail now we have four results when this uh, coin is tossed when this coin is tossed twice we have four results one two three four a head and a head a head and a tail a tail and a head and a tail and a tail that is four results so the probability probability of toasting a coin twice and we get at least one head at least one head will be equals to don't forget we have four result one two three four we have four result now let's look at the number of uh, coins of result that have at least one head according to the question at least one head here we have two heads so this satisfy this satisfy the condition of the question at least one head so we have two heads so at least one head here we have one head and one tail, so at least one head, this also satisfy. Here we have a tail and a head, at least one head, this also satisfy. So we have one, two, three. So we have three uh, outcome that satisfy our question. So we have three all over. Now the total outcome, one, two, three, four. Total outcome is four. If you convert that to decimal, this three over four, Convert that to decimal, that you just divide in your calculator, you have 0 0.75. So this is the answer, and the correct option there is option B. Option B. So if you check, option B is our answer. Option B is our answer. So that satisfies that uh, aspect. Uh, you can as well study this more. Go to the topic probability. Look at toasting a die. Maybe uh, one die toasting or uh, twice you know or sometimes three times depend on whichever way so that is the answer to this question and we'll solve more questions as we proceed okay thank you for watching please subscribe